a warm welcome to my youtube channel thank you so much for clicking if this is your first time you're coming across cat vlogs please consider subscribing and also for support uh, purposes please like this video it really helps just give it a thumbs up and um, i will really appreciate in today's video i'm going to take you along with me as i go to gikomba market to shop for a client she wants to start a baby shop and I'm going to buy for her hangers and baby clothes. So come along with me. Gikomba is the biggest second-hand market in the Republic of Kenya and it is also the biggest market that deals with second-hand items in Eastern and Central Africa. It is located in Nairobi town and this place has everything second-hand. Clothes, shoes, handbags, beddings, households including utensils. Everything second-hand can be found in this place and due to public demand I'm also going to show you the tour of the shoe market in Kenya That is second-hand shoe market in this market. You're going to get shoes from as low as 10 shillings Yes, I meant that 10 Kenyan shillings for a pair of shoes This market receives Kenyans from different parts of the country, from all over the country actually, who come here to buy clothes on wholesale to go and resell in their respective towns. That is why it is still very early in the morning, it's around 7.30 in the morning and already people are here and this is actually the right time to be here because most people open bills early in the morning. So by the time you come here at 11 a.m. cut walking, the bills are already over. So when you go to Gikomba market, you should know what exactly you're looking for because most of these products are located in different places. If you want adult trousers, they are in a designated area. If you want shoes, they are in a different place. Like right now, I'm looking for a place where I can buy hangers at a very, very affordable price. That is where I'm heading to. And then uh, next, I will go to where I will get baby clothes. Baby clothes are in an allocated area where there is everything baby clothes, rompers, onesies, everything is in a, a specific place. So you should know exactly what you're looking for so that you go to the right places. So um, you will get clothes from as low as 10 Kenyan shillings. Yes, you heard me right also. 10 Kenyan shillings for clothes. Um, you can also get people uh, doing what we call for gear. And when they are doing what we call for gear, you can get uh, a person telling you to give uh, maybe 5,000 for all the clothes that are actually there. Uh, it doesn't matter how many clothes, but they just tell you, give me 5,000 Kenyan shillings and then take, take all these clothes. And the clothes are actually in good condition. So the reason why they will want to do that is because they want to open other bales here. Also something that I want you to know before you come to Gikomba market is that some people woke up very very early to come to Gikomba to steal. That one you should know before coming to Gikomba. So make sure that you keep your money safe. And also we have people that are um, phone snatchers, pickpocketers are very very many in Gikomba. So I'm going to buy uh, hangers in this particular place and a bunch of hangers. I don't know if that is the right word but it's going for a hundred shillings. For all those pieces, the way they have been uh, tied, that's only a hundred uh, Kenyan shillings. Just to explain myself, um, I do wholesale shopping, I do bulk shopping for everything including other products that are not second hand and I do that at a fee. Uh, right now I'm shopping for a client at a fee and then I'm going to send parcels uh, to her destination the same same day. I'm on my own, broken alone, I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town We're searching for the lost and found But you don't care, you're unaware 
when you want to start a clothes business hangers are very very important and also the chain that you are seeing here it is very important because it will make you display the clothes properly and they will be visible to the buyers remember that you can have the best stock in the world but with a very very uh, shady kind of display you are not going to sell anything I'm on my own, broken along. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town, I'm searching for the lost and found. But you don't care, you're unaware. Keep moving like the scars aren't even there. It's in the air, like a blazing flare. I'm going through the shoe market and in this shoe market you can get boots and very very good quality shoes at 50 to 100 shillings but also in the shoe uh, market we also have a person that always will want to get rid of the old stock and they're going to do that at even 10 Kenyan shillings yes we say As much as these shoes look very, very new, they are actually second-hand shoes. Everything you're seeing here is second-hand. So shoes will vary in prices. The better the quality, the more expensive it will be, but not as expensive as in your local town. of these shoes that look almost new will cost a wholesale price of around 400 to 2000 Kenyan shillings these are what we call labels labels are expensive so you have to go and almost triple the price for you to do a retail in your local town so right now i'm going to a place where um uh, the shoe bears are open this is what i go through every time i come here for shopping i have to go through all these hardships these are hardships these are not places that look habitable as you can see from the video so uh, definitely that is why i charge to pay for uh, I charge to, to shop for clients. Um, you can see it is not a walk in the park. I really go through a lot uh, before I bring you those cute shoes and send the persons to you those incredible looking shoes. Yeah. <laughs>
most of these second hand shoes will come to the country when dirty and the moment somebody uses water and soap that shoes is going to double the price it landed in kenya with give this video a thumbs up it really supports my channel if you're getting inspired or educated it is just free of charge to give a video a like This seller is selling what we call good quality first camera labels and as you can see from the video these are shoes that you can even retail at 3000 Kenyan shillings. If you go to these high end second hand shops in your local town, they get their shoes from this shop, they go clean them and then they put some uh, papers inside to give them a uh, shape and then they add almost five times the buying price. Yeah. Lights out, lying in your arms And these feelings start to change One look into your eyes And I'm floating far away I've never been You can also decide to just uh, stock on the main open shoes. They are really fast moving and they will cost you a wholesale price of around 300 Kenyan shillings. Yeah, and then you can go and sell them at uh, 500 to 1000 Kenyan shillings. I'm on my own, broken along. I feel the rain crashing down. I have done other videos featuring Gikomba Shoe Market um, where I buy shoes at 50 shillings, 100 shillings. So the only time you can get such shoes, the, uh, the 50 shilling shoes at the 100 uh, shilling shoes, is when you come here very, very early in the morning. Because as you can see right now, nobody is opening the bales. So if you are able to get to Gikomba as early as 5 a.m. And if you have a connection to the actual people that are opening the bales, then you're welcome to Gikomba Show Market. Something that they have to add at this particular time that right now, as the sun is up there, it is around 1 p.m., you will still get people that are selling shoes at 10 shillings, 20 shillings, 30, 40, 50 shillings, but they are not the same as the shoes I'm talking about. They are totally different. What you're going to get right now, as the sun is up there, is what we call for gear for gear can even come uh, at a price of even five shillings yeah so uh, when you get here early in the morning at 5 a.m you will get the men or the guys that choose the shoes for us 
So those guys will tell you, you have to stand aside, wait for us to choose the best shoes and then the rest we are going to leave uh, for you to select. So in short, what I mean is um, these people that choose the shoes from these uh, bell openers are specific people. You might get there as early as 5 a.m. and nobody will allow you to touch their bells. So it is upon you, as long as you have maybe a godfather in Gikomba, then well and good. Also, if you want me to connect you to a person that can select the shoes for you, it is at a fee because it also costed me to get to that point where I have a reliable personnel to shop for me. And also, um, maybe if you want me personally to go and uh, do the inspection for you, maybe you're not around the Ruby, I can also do that uh, at a fee. I also do that at a fee because this thing is tiring. Gikomba is big. Gikomba is really tiring. The sun is always hotter here. It is always dusty. Yeah. So that is the reason why I have to charge for my uh, services. Uh, right now, I want to go through this uh, baby clothes shopping area in Gikomba. Here, I'm going to get anything I want, anything, I mean anything. And that is exactly what I want to do right now so that at least uh, before it is evening, I can send the parcels to my client. This is the time I want to start selecting the clothes. They are quite affordable. You can get a cloth from as, as low as 10 Kenyan shillings. But uh, my focus, because my client wants to go and resell, I'm focusing on a person that will um, be opening a bell and uh, that will give me an opportunity to select even better clothes that are not for gear. That is a word I want you to understand. Fagia means that these products or these clothes had been opened before and now customers, after choosing the best ones, the remaining ones are uh, the less attractive ones and they're the ones that are termed Fagia. So that is the difference. So if you have reached this point of the video, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe. More incredible, educative, inspiring, motivating videos are coming your way. Thank you so much for watching up to this particular point. I really appreciate. May God bless you all. And purpose to be productive in the society. Purpose to start your own business today. Bye.